Okay, I'm going to program a Sanfi remote. Okay, what we have here is a single circuit board with two motors. If you look closely over here, it's hard to see. There's a something says S1 and S2. This motor adapter is for motor one, S1. This motor adapter is for motor two, S2. This is our program button. It's a little black dot and it says P-R-O-G above it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and reset the circuit board by pressing this power button, this program button, till all the lights blink and you get a jog on the motors. A jog is a slight movement of the pistons inside the motor that makes that noise. I'm gonna do that one more time. Press and hold the program button. I'll get that noise and I'm not gonna let go till I see all the lights. In order to reprogram this circuit board so I can program both these motors appropriately, I'm gonna go ahead and press the program button right there. I'm gonna hold it. Both motors will make a movement noise. When all the lights flash is when I let go. Let go. So now I'm ready to put this, these motors into the programming. So I take my, my remote I have channel one selected. It's kind of hard to see there, but that first dot is channel one. I have channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four, all is channel five. I'm gonna go back to channel one. I'm gonna go and hit this program button again until both those lights above the button flash and then I let go. As you can see, the light is lit right here for S1. That means that this motor, which is over here, is now ready for programming. So I take my remote control, I press the up and down button at the same time to get it into program mode. Now I check the direction. The up button should push this piston out. It's not working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the center button, press and hold it until I get movement. Now I check the up button and my piston is going out. The down button brings it in. So now what I need to do is I need to tell the system to go into its limit discovery. This is the second part of this. So I press and release the top and bottom arrow. And now that piston will start to discover its closed limit as well as its up limit. So I let it run its course. Great, that piston has found its close and open discovery point. So what I do at this point is I press the center button for press and hold until I get that sound and movement. Excellent, now I flip the remote control over and then I press this back button. Press and hold, I got that noise. Channel one is now programmed properly to this motor one, S1. So that piston will come all the way back. I'm gonna stop it right there just so you can see it come into screen. All right, now I wanna program this motor, S2, motor two. So I press the program button till both lights go on above the program button. Whoops. Now it's on channel one again, uh, S1, so I press it one more time, let go, and now move the light over to S2. 
At this point, I want to go ahead and hit my channel that I want to be on. I want to be on channel two, right? Very important, otherwise you're going to program it on channel one. At this point, I go ahead and I hit the up and down button. This is a press and release. Excellent. Motor 2 gave me some feedback. Now I want to check the direction. So I hit the up button. This one's actually programmed properly. Um, the motor is going out with the up button in with the in button. So I don't need to do that intermediary step of holding the my button to reverse it. So at this point, I want to find its limit discovery. So I press and release the up and down. And now we let that run its course. Excellent. It's found its in and out limits. So now what I want to do to lock that in is I press and hold the my button until I get a movement and sound. Excellent. Now I want to lock that programming by flipping over the remote. Press and hold until you get the sound. Excellent. So channel two, I'm on channel two, should close the particular piston is now coming in, which is actually closing the system. Once that gets into, um, into the screen there, I'll go ahead and hit the my button. The my button is a stopping function. Okay. Now let's say, let's say I want to take channel one and channel two and have like an all button. So I could go to, you can go to channel three, which has nothing on it right now, right? Go to channel three. I can go to channel, I go back to channel one. And this is called copy and paste. So I take channel one, I flip the remote over, I press and hold the button, I got my jog. Now I go to channel three, right? Press and hold the button again. So I copied channel one and I paste it in channel three. Now I wanna do this motor on channel three. So I go back to channel two, copy, Go to channel three. Now channel three will operate both of them. And you could do this, you could put as many motors or devices on one channel as you want. 